It's the sound that fans of 80s rally cars love and reminds many of a very special car, the Audi Quattro S1. Now Audi is resurrecting the legendary S1 as the new top city model of the Audi A1. The two cars may be different, but the similarities are clear. Both are powered by the Quattro all-wheel drive. Our car tester Klaus Nietzwitz says the name S1 stems from a sporty car that featured in world rallies in the 1980s, driven by famously fast drivers like Walter Röhrl and Stig Blomqvist. Unlike the original, the new S1 can be bought by anyone. And it boasts quite a few sporty features. Huge brakes, a Quattro logo, rear spoiler, and four exhaust pipes. And the S1 proves its skills on the road. Powerful braking, sharp steering, and the wheels have a phenomenal grip on the asphalt, thanks to all-wheel technology. And the two-liter turbocharged engine is impressive when accelerating out of curves. No other car in the segment packs such a sporty punch. Klaus says the new Audi S1 shows its real strengths on the test track. It's got a great electromechanical power steering system, and the all-wheel drive means you can really step on the gas exiting a bend. So, in short, Klaus says the new S1 is a great sportsman. And great sportsmen need big hearts. A two-liter engine shoots this little machine forward in no time, but it takes more than pure power not to fly off the track in snow and ice. Driving in icy conditions can be tricky, but seasoned drivers can work the S1 easily and literally make it dance around on the snow. The S1 is perfect because much of its weight, 60%, is concentrated in the front. You almost feel like Quattro Maestro Stig Blomqvist. What does the famous driver make of the new S1 compared with its predecessor? Okay, the new one is really nice, and okay, it's 30 years between them, so it's not really something you can compare. And the same goes for the sleek interior high quality materials and an eye for detail underscore the car's sporty elegance. A gear shift knob in aluminum. Sport steering. And bucket seats. The new S1 accelerates in just under six seconds to 100 kilometers and rocks on to a top speed of 250. Its 170 kilowatt engine has a fuel consumption of 7.1 liters. In Germany, car lovers will need to shell out over 30,000 euros for the new five-door S1 Sportsback. So what's the verdict of our car tester? Klaus says he's surprised. The car looks good, is great to handle, is sturdy, and crazily fast. So it has everything you'd expect from a small sports back, he says.